Thank you for your interest in our project information meeting for the South Washington Avenue SR5 US1 Maintenance and Safety Improvement Project. Mr. Gene Verano is the Florida Department of Transportation's project manager, and Mr. Jason Flick is the consultant project manager. The purpose of this public meeting is to share information about the proposed project with the public and to provide answers to any questions that may arise. This meeting, project, or study is being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida, 32720 or telephone 386-943-5367 or email jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 or telephone 850-414-4753 or email jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. For project information, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is the FDOT's living platform to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website, which contains links for easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule details project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. To access the project website, go to www.cflroads.com. On the main page, from the pull-down menu labeled Road, select US1, then click Search. When the new page opens, click the link labeled Future Projects, and then select the project number for this project, which is 432 437 one. The project is located in Brevard County in the city of Titusville. The project begins north of the intersection of South Washington Avenue and Golden Knights Boulevard and continues northward to the end of the project just south of SR 50 Cheney Highway. The primary objective of this project is to provide maintenance to the existing pavement on South Washington Avenue. Additional improvements will be made to the corridor as part of this maintenance project, including traffic enhancements for motorists and cyclists. These improvements are designed to increase safety for all users of South Washington Avenue. The project has been designed to minimize impacts to utilities and limit disruption to traffic during construction to the greatest extent possible. Due to deficiencies in the existing roadway pavement, the surface of the asphalt needs to be replaced. This will be done by milling the top layer of asphalt and placing new asphalt on top. In addition to repairing the pavement, this project will provide safety and operational improvements throughout the corridor. Some of the safety improvements which will be implemented as part of this project include widening the right turn lane to provide a bicycle through lane between the travel lane and right turn lane, reducing the acceleration lane length of the southbound US-1 on-ramp from SR-405, correcting the roadway cross slope, and upgrading the guardrails. This project will also include shoulder widening in certain locations to accommodate U-turn movements and upgrades to the current bus stop locations to ADA accessible bus alighting pads including a raised, clear 5 foot by 8 foot boarding and alighting area. The figure above shows the current configuration of the southbound US-1 on-ramp from SR-405, and the figure below shows the proposed condition. 
The current condition has an acceleration lane extending through the previously signalized intersection of US-1 and Vector Space Boulevard. This signalized intersection is no longer in service, and the ramp acceleration lane must be reduced to meet current FDOT and AASHTO merging criteria, and the current dual left turn lane will be reduced to a single lane. The acceleration lane will be reduced to 750 feet long, and the remaining length will be reconstructed as a 5-foot outside shoulder. The figure above shows a typical current configuration of the right turn lanes along US-1. Currently the typical condition of the right turn lanes is a 12-foot turn lane with a 4-foot outside shoulder. To correctly accommodate bicycle traffic through the right turn lanes, the turn lanes will be widened to accommodate a 5-foot bicycle lane between the main line travel lane and the right turn lane. The proposed condition is shown in the figure below. This graphic shows the typical roadway characteristics of South Washington Avenue within the first two and three quarter miles of the project. South Washington Avenue accommodates two lanes of travel in each direction with a 40-foot grass median. The current four-foot outside paved shoulder will be restriped to become a dedicated bicycle lane. This graphic shows the typical roadway characteristics of South Washington Avenue within the final quarter mile of the project. South Washington Avenue accommodates two lanes of travel in each direction with a variable raised median. The current four-foot outside paved shoulder will be restriped to become a dedicated bicycle lane. This project is designed to be beneficial to all roadway users. The existing outside four-foot paved shoulder will be restriped and all right turn lanes will be widened to accommodate bicycle traffic throughout the project limits. The newly repaired roadway will correct pavement deficiencies and provide an improved riding surface for vehicular traffic. And finally, all bus stops will be updated to current ADA accessible boarding and alighting pads. During construction of this project, measures will be taken to ensure the safety of construction workers and the traveling public. To provide this measure of safety, nighttime lane closures will be necessary while pavement work is being performed. During the reconstruction of the acceleration lane to southbound US-1 from SR-405, the ramp will need to be closed during the overnight hours and a detour will be set up to divert travelers to southbound US-1. This project is also being coordinated with Space Coast Area Transit to ensure that bus service is not disrupted. The design of this project began in October of 2014 and is currently in the development phase of design. Design will be completed in the summer of 2016 with construction beginning in the fall of 2016. Construction is anticipated to be completed in the summer of 2017. The design cost for this project is about $500,000 and the construction cost is estimated to be approximately $4 million. Comments on this project are welcome. Please send us your comments and questions by clicking on the Submit Comments and Questions link on this website or by mailing the evaluation and comment form available to you at the meeting by October 13, 2015. Your comments, questions, and concerns will be addressed and will then become a part of the project file. This concludes the presentation for the South Washington Avenue Maintenance and Safety Improvement Project. Thank you for your interest in our project and we thank you for taking the time to view our public information meeting presentation. Please feel free to contact us at any time regarding any questions or concerns you may have.